most of the time we like to be optimistic. I mean, we don't all want to believe that a zombie apocalypse is going to descend on us and we're all going to die. There's this sense of adventure. I mean, that's like kind of what the promise is of you know, movies like Star Wars or whatever. And, and so uh, that for me is, is what I like. I mean, I like fantasy, I like sci-fi, but for me, science fiction, especially something sort of more like a Star Citizen where, you know, it's not, it's not a sort of bleak version of the future. I always think of it like the Wild West, right? It's this unknown landscape that's harsh and treacherous, but you can find great riches in it. You could explore it. You can find new things that people have never seen before, develop new technologies that have never been conceived of before to make your journeys possible. The thing that's great about space is that it's sort of uh, uncharted horizons. And so I think, I mean, that's actually one of the things where I'm sort of you know, always, always a bit puzzled why you know, this kind of game took a bit of a, a drop because it's, you know, it's, it's imagination. Certainly, it's been unpopular the last 10 years. You know, we haven't had a great space sim in all this time. Medieval style games, role playing games, and first person shooter combat games have been the only games that made money all these years because people kind of lost track of space. You want to have similar touchstones, similar precepts of yes, there's an economy, and yes, there's shipping, and you know, our version of international shipping is interstellar shipping, so you can kind of latch on to things, but other than that, you want it to be set in a setting that is totally right for us to tell our own story or for you to create your own story. There's a lot of option and possibility and you can you know, be anyone, do anything, go wherever you want. I mean, that's kind of sort of the, the, the kind of catchphrase that we're using for the first person universe and, and I think that really, you know, space is limitless possibilities. You know, you, you want to live in that fantasy world um, and space is just a great way to do that. You know, there was all this optimism in the you know, late 60s and early 70s, let's go to the moon, do all the rest of the stuff, and then it kind of sort of died out for a while. And now I sort of feel like it's, it's, slowly, it's slowly coming back. I definitely think there'll be kids that are going to look at the stars and wonder what it's like to, to be on one of those planets. <laughs>